credit to the boys, I think, making a semi just shows what kind of group we are and how close we are together. Yeah, I've played, which to me was, <laughs> was why I wanted to come here, and I wanted to come here to play in semis and finals, and I managed to do that, so. Luke, now that just has settled on that epic semi-final, um, what, what are your reflections on that game? Um, I just think it's just a huge disappointment. I think we thought we had enough to beat them on the day and looking back at it, we probably did. We just made one or two mistakes and they end up scoring. So I think we're just a bit disappointed as a group that we didn't quite get over the line. Um, it's been an eventful first season for you here at, at Tigers. Um, what are your thoughts then on, on how, that's, how it's gone? Yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. Um, we've had our ups and downs, but credit to the boys, I think making a semi just shows what kind of group we are and how close we are together. Unfortunately, we didn't quite go all the way, but it's been a great season. I thoroughly enjoyed it. How do you think you've done in your first season? Yeah, I've played, which to me was, <laughs> was why I wanted to come here. And I wanted to come here to play in semis and finals, and I managed to do that. So as far as I'm concerned, it's been all one good season for me. Yeah, and, and let's not forget that, that Tigers did win a piece of silverware this season as well. Yeah, we've got the LV as well, which credit just shows the strength and depth and the young boys coming through. Cause I think we played pretty much all the, I think we played 30 odd players, 40 odd players in that competition, then got to the final and managed to beat the Chiefs. So that's a great achievement for the club as well. Um, how important has it been to work with Matt O'Connor over the last six, eight weeks and allow him to sort of bed his ideas and before pre season? Yeah, it probably makes pre season a, a lot easier for us as players because we know his ideas, what he, how he wants to play, what he wants us to do so we're not coming back in with that bit of oh, what's going on here this week so everyone knows what's expected of now of pre-season I think we're all looking forward to our time off and then we'll go from there. Uh, you got, what plans have you got during your time off? Um, I haven't got anything solid yet but I'm just trying to spend as little time as possible in the UK for the, the time off. Um, and have you got a, a, an eye on pre-season? Do you let yourself go or do you keep ticking over during uh, during the summer? I'll have a couple of weeks where I won't think about anything or won't think about rugby, I'll just do my own thing and then I'll do a bit before I get back but I think being in such a long season, was it 50 odd weeks now I think, and you think, I think you need the time off to let your body recover and more importantly for your head I think it's the main thing. For all the great videos, keep watching LTTV.